name is Alyssa. And I'm Miss Teresa. And welcome back to another episode of What's New in Children's Books. Mm -hmm. So first we're going to start with picture books. Okay, we have some really great picture books this uh, month. So we have Spring Stinks, which is a Mother Bruce um, book. And it's part of its collection. So if you've read any of those wonderful picture books, then you are going to really like this one. It's going to have the beautiful illustrations all about spring and grumpy mother so, yeah, bruce. Yeah, bruce looks grumpy again, <laughs> shock. Um, our second uh, choice is A Sled for Gabo, which is a really popular pick this, uh, this year. Mm -hmm. It's about Gabo and the first snow, but the only problem is Gabo doesn't have a sled. Oh. So if you can see, I'm definitely getting uh, kind of vibes like a snowy day. Oh which yeah. Is very for, popular. Yeah. But the pictures are just really, really beautiful. And the story is really cute. Okay, and then we have Peanut Goes for the Gold. And this is a really cute picture book about a little um, little guinea pig named Peanut. And he does things his own way. And in this one, he wants to be a rhythmic gymnast. And so, I too, <laughs> and so you have these really cute pictures of Peanut trying to be a gymnast and doing it the way he likes to do things. That is a... I love his leotard. <laughs> a really good message. Yeah. <laughs> and another book with a really great message is I Believe I Can, which is a sequel to I Am Enough. Oh, that's a good one. Um, it's just a really sweet book, really easy to read and with a great message. How um, all of us in the world are uh, can do anything. Yeah. Believe, if we believe, we can do it. So check that one out as well. Okay, and now we're going to go over some I Can Read books. And the first one is Biscuit and the Little Llamas. And this right here is um, part of my first I Can Read collection. So it's going to have basic language, word repetition, and really whimsical illustrations. Um, and it's perfect for sharing with your emergent reader. There you go. Little Biscuit, the puppy. Biscuit, puppies, llamas, yeah. sheep. Really cute. All good. And then we have Bug Dippin, Bug Sippin. And this one is a pre-level one. Um, and so pre-level ones are great for shared reading as well. This has familiar characters and really simple words for those beginning readers. And this is great for kids who really like to know about bugs. It has a whole sheet in the back about bug facts, but really great illustrations. We'll see all these right here. So yeah, I'm so not kids a big will. Bug fan, so. <laughs> yeah, but they're really, really cute. It's really cute, yeah. The cutest bugs I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then we have a beginning level one, which is a Pinkalicious series. Oh um, it's funny. Pinkalicious and the Merminis. Merminis? Merminis are mini mermaids. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is just another adventure. It's Pinkalicious and Peterific. Uh, it's a level one, so it's ideal for um, short sentences, familiar words, and simple concepts for children to follow along with. The Pinkalicious are... is very popular. Yes, very popular. <laughs> and then we have a level three I can read which is a uh, Libby Love Science Adventure. This one is all about baking. Uh, level three, it's more complex plots, challenging vocabulary, and high interest topics. And something cool about this as well is at the back of it, it has a recipe to make cupcakes. Very so you cool. You can make cupcakes with your kid. Really awesome. And now we're gonna go over some children's nonfiction. We have a biography and it's called A Girl Named Rosita. And it's the story of Rita Moreno who is a beloved Puerto Rican icon. And this story just goes through her childhood and her eventual success in Hollywood. And she is, um, she won a Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award. So she was She's awesome. very talented. She's from Singing in the Rain. The, she was in The King and I, West Side, West Side Story. Story. Yeah, a lot of musicals. So our second biography is of Emily Nurter, who was a Jewish woman you may not have heard about, but she um, contributed a lot to how we understand the universe. And she even helped Albert Einstein with his uh, theory of relativity. Wow, that's so interesting. Emily Nurter, really cool. Okay, and then we have Paper Sun, the inspiring story of Tyrus Wong, immigrant and artist. And this is just another story about an artist coming to America and pursuing his dream and he eventually ends up working for Disney and he worked on the movie Bambi. Yeah, he actually designed the whole background of Bambi, which is really awesome. 
And another nonfiction book is about Mother Jones and her army of male children. So Mother Jones was an activist and um, I guess agitator, they call her, mm. for the reformation of children's labor laws in America. Wow. Because at the time, children worked in factories in really unsafe conditions and they had no rights and she really lobbied for change. That's so interesting. Really cool. And I mean, the pictures are awesome. Everyone wants to see the pictures. Right? Oh, those watercolor pictures, They're beautiful. Really cool. Okay, and then we have our last one is Minecraft, Minecraft. Epic Bases. So these are legendary bases of a guild of expert builders called the Twelve. Maybe your kids have heard of them. But just they're, yeah, they're really cool builds. I don't know how everyone makes these, but apparently you can. But hopefully it will inspire kids to make yeah. their own to awesome be creative. bases. Really cool. Yeah. Okay, and our last category is children's fiction, and we have the first one, Root Magic, which this book takes place in 1963, and it's all about um, two twins, Jez and her brother Jay, and they're dealing with a lot of stuff in this book. First, their grandmother dies, and then they're gonna be starting a new school, and they're gonna be starting a new school with new friends because integration has come to South Carolina. And then their uncle wants to teach them root work, which is magic. So they're going to have to find all the magic within themselves to fight not only natural evil, but supernatural evil. Sounds really good, but really heavy. Yeah. Um, so our second pick is The Nightmare Thief. So this is about Marin, who works in her family's dream shop where she can craft any dream she wants to. The right. only rule is that dreams cannot be given to a person without their consent. Mm. However, a mysterious figure arrives and she blackmails Marin into making some really nasty nightmares for her. Ooh, that sounds a little scary. That's the nightmare thing. <laughs> okay, and then we have City of the Plague God. And this takes place in New York City. It's about a boy named Sick and he has to go up against the ancient god of disease who is taking revenge on New York City by sending a plague that turns everybody into monsters. So that sounds really interesting and kind of creepy too. And isn't that based on Mesopotamian mythology? It is, yes, lots of their folk tales. It's really cool because I don't know like anything about that. Yeah, really. you usually don't see books based on that. No, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. And our last pick is Amari and the Knight Brothers. So A, the cover is gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. Really, really pretty. So this is about Amari Peters who has never stopped believing that her brother Quentin is alive, even though everyone else thinks he's gone for good. So one day she finds a ticking briefcase in his closet. Oh my gosh. With a um, nomination for a summer tryout at the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs. So she's not only dealing with uh, trying to find what happened to her brother, which she's convinced this uh, Bureau knows what's happened, but she has to compete against other kids that have known about magic their entire lives. Oh, that sounds really interesting. I think I'm gonna have to check that out. Yeah, it looks really <laughs> cool. So that's it for us. We'll display our books here. <laughs> uh, thanks for checking out all the new items that you can request. Please request them to your local library branch. Mm -hmm. And make sure to check us out next month with even more new materials that are available for you. Yeah. So we'll see you then. Okay. Bye. Bye.